All right, guys, Dave here with a new rhythm guitar tutorial for you. Uh, today we're going to look at the Earth, Wind & Fire classic, Let's Groove. So we're going to start off with the intro. Now, I'm not sure this is actually played on guitar. You can hear it on a vocoder synth and on the bass, uh, but I thought it would be fun to learn it anyway. So there's kind of two versions of this. This is the first one. So all I'm doing for there is I'm on the sixth string E and I'm going open, then three, five, back to three, down to two. Then on the A string, I go zero, two, zero, two, like that. Now I definitely hear that for the probably the first four run throughs and then it becomes slightly simpler there's just one note missed off on the A string So the second version looks like this. Starts the same way. So E string, open, three, five, three, down to the two. Now we're gonna miss the open this time and we're gonna go straight to fret two on the A string, zero, two. So there's only one note missing, but that tends to be the way it's played most of the time afterwards. Okay, here's what's played during the chorus. Um, I should just say that, first of all, the, the chord sequence in the chorus, and the same as the intro for that matter, is just an E minor seven, F sharp minor seven, down to a B minor, or B minor seven, whatever way you wanna play that one. Um, the guitar part is actually a lot smaller. We're just gonna play a little shape. It's like a little D shape, really. We're on the um, seventh fret, so seven E, 8B and 7 on the G. Starts with a couple of scratches, down up, and then we're going to go down, 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 and then there's another down scratch at the end. Uh, so it's interesting because the first two are staccato. On beat three, you let it ring for the entire beat, and then on beat four, you just play for the first bit. And then just do a little scratch on the second half of beat four. And then we're going to take that shape and we're going to do a slide up two frets. And this is going to be part of the F sharp minor. So for that, I start really two frets lower and then quickly slide up to nine, ten, nine on the E, B and G strings. So that's a slide, do a miss down, hit it on an up. There's a little bit of a scratch if you want to put it in on a downstroke, and then we're just going to play a really simple B minor. So I'm just barring across the seventh fret on the first three strings. 
And then to finish off, you get this little single note run. That's seven nine on the D, seven on the G. Like so. Probably the other thing I'll mention is that when I play the single notes, I'm still kind of, my right hand is still kind of in a strumming mode. So what I do is, so that you only hear the notes, I'm just muting off with the underneath of my index finger when I, when I do that. And it just helps to kind of keep me in the flow so I'm not having to kind of come out of strumming into like into single picking mode if you like. It just kind of helps with the flow. So instead of going like that, I'm just keeping everything in a kind of more of a strummy fashion. It gives it a bit of extra rhythm as well, I feel. Okay, that's the chorus. Okay, during the verse, it's just a single note line, so I'm bringing my hand in and I'm going to play. So for that, I'm just playing on the D string, 7, 7, 7. Then on the A, 10, 9, 9, back up to 7. And then staying in the next bar, on the D, we're going seven, 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 nine, and then seven on the G. Now I play everything with down strums, uh, or down strokes if you like, except for the first two notes where I go down up. Everything else is down, down up, down. And that's the riff to the verse. Okay, for the bridge, we're going to start on an A minor 7 chord. So, bar across the 5th fret, overall 6 strings, and also hold down fret 7 on the A string. And we take that shape and we just move it up 2 frets, so we're now at fret 7 with the bar. That gives you a B minor 7, and then we're going to move over to E minor 7. So the E minor 7, bar at the seventh fret from strings one to five, and then you're holding down the eighth fret on the B, ninth fret on the D string. And the rhythm is four beats on the A minor seven, a beat and a half on the B minor seven, and then pushing to the E minor seven on the second half of beat two. Like that. You repeat that process, so you do that again, and then we're going to move down to 
C minor 7. So I'm basically just taking that E minor 7 shape I had, moving it down to the 3rd fret. Play that for, or hold it for 4 beats. And then we're going to take that shape, move it up to the 5th fret. That gives me D minor 7 for a beat and a half. And we're going to push into a G minor 7. Which is basically the same shape as the A minor 7, but we're now playing that at the 3rd fret. So it's two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like so. Then we're gonna do an F sharp half diminished or minor seven with a flattened fifth. Um, so for that, I'm just buying at the fifth fret on the E, B and G strings, and then I've got the full fret at the D string. Hold that for a bar, or four beats. And then I'm just going to play a small B7. Um, I think the whole harmony it might include a flat 9 in it. But I think it's a safe bet to play it just as a B7. So and I'm just playing this much of it. 7 on the B, 8 on the G, and 7 on the D string. And you just play them nice and staccato on beats 1 and 2. 1, 2, and that's it. And that gives you the end of the bridge. Okay, guys, I hope this has helped you learn this tune and I hope you get a lot of fun from it. Uh, before I sign off, I just want to mention that uh, you can support my channel via Patreon. Um, I've actually made a backing track up for this one and uh, the tabs will also be available on Patreon. So uh, do go and check it out. Um, I'll also put a link in the video at the end if you want to watch my playthrough of the whole tune. Okay, guys. See you later.